What's up, man? 25 Gamers. Welcome to today's video. Today's video, we're going to be talking about uh, another video on run defense. In today's video, we're going to focus on how to stop the buck sweep in Man 25. Uh, the formation we like to use for this is the 4 3 stack. Uh, it can be found in almost any 4 3 playbook. The playbook I'm using in today's video is Detroit Lions defensive playbook. But the play we're going to be using is the 4 3 stack, and the play is the Sam uh, 3 fire. We only have to make a couple of adjustments to make this work. What we want to do is we want to base align our defense so that they uh, kind of stay where we want them to be. The next thing we want to do is we want to take this middle linebacker. We want to move him over uh, just a little bit to the right side of the center. And then we want to place him on a flat zone. You see that flat zone is going to go out to the right side. The next step we want to do is we want to pass commit. And you should see that the buck sweep is bucking no more as we get the contain out there. And of course, as I say that, um, one other thing you can do here real quick, if that doesn't work right, is you can widen your linebackers like this. And it should work right now. Let's see if that works. See how that flat zone gets out there like that? And it, it doesn't. you don't have to user it. Uh, you don't have to do any of that. But basically, this is, is literally just so that um, we can get that outside containment uh, for the buck sweep. So here again, that that blitz angle should muddy everything up. That time they actually got a big gain. Uh, but if you look here, what we're trying to do is we're trying to get the blitz angle here on the right side from Galette. We can re-blitz him, spread the linebackers. Now, uh, one thing to note about when you spread the linebackers, Lofton should automatically be to the right side of the center. Um, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Another thing we can do is crash the line to the right. And let's see if that kind of made it even more. But the, the key is the flat zone. And uh, let's show you a, another play we can apply this from, uh, from the 4-3 stack while I'm on the subject. Because Sam Fire 3 is a good one, uh, but there is a little bit better of a play here. Uh, the strong safety 3 snake stay, uh, where the strong safety is going to be blitzing off the edge. So again, base the line, shift the linebackers, uh, or excuse me, spread the linebackers. Take this guy Lofton here, place him into a flat zone. And then you can take Galette, you can blitz him. I think you can all, you should also be able to yellow zone him, but let's just see what happens when you blitz him. And so those blitzers along with that flat, you see how that works? So uh, you can apply that to the Samfire 3, but you get a little better coverage. Strong safety sink 3, you're going to have to blitz a little bit better, more. But one thing you can do to show up your coverage, since they're not going to run to the left, is drop Jordan into a zone. But you see how that blitz angle from Gillette's going to tear it up, and then the uh, safety is going to come over and kind of fill it. And so that's why I was hoping the Samfire 3, the, you can sometimes get that blitz angle to just blow it up. Uh, but with the Samfire 3, you don't get that sure uh, that safety coming in to really mess things up. Uh, but you do see when you have a good linebacker like Gillette, it makes it even easier to stop the run. Uh, but definitely want to place that flat zone because that flat zone flowing out there to pass commit and the blitzer, uh, that blitzing linebacker is going to sure up that edge for you. And uh, one of the best ways to stop the run in Man 25 is to use blitzes with the safety to the side that they're blitzing. So if they were running this to the left, I'd flip my play and I'd do the same setup. So if they flip their play, I flip my play essentially. And. Um, no, everything's the same. Drop locked into the flat to the left side now. We have those blitzing angles, and you see that Loft is going to get out there, try to contain that edge. Uh, that time we got caught up. But And another thing that you can do is you can do uh, a tip that Zan talked about at the beginning of the Madden 25 is kind of flinch him a little bit. So if we kind of just move him in a little bit like that, kind of flinch a little bit, and you see he's going to get out there a little bit better. You see how he just kind of really zooms out there that time? So that's just another thing that you can do. But uh, the main thing I wanted to discuss in this video is... The, the, the pass commit, of course, as you've seen, is, uh, is a kind of a staple of most of my run defenses, uh, as well as the flat zones. You want to have this flat zone aloft. I know what you could do with this also, also is you could throw, since they only have one receiver to the left, you could just throw Lewis in a, in a yellow zone, because typically that's going to mean that they want to put him on an out route. Then you could put Harrelson in the yellow zone, and then you could take... Um, you know, drop your spy here so that you could still have a guy blitzing, uh, but now you're still having a little bit better coverage than you were. But this is coverage adjustments outside of everything, but just really wanted to focus on this. So uh, let's show you this out of the Samfire 3. I have it in my audibles here, so I'm just going to audible to it. But if we base the line, spread the line, throw that flat zone out there, flinch him just a little bit, and watch the safety this time. Safety's still going to flow down there, and the flat zone's still going to get out there. But the, the safety doesn't crash as hard. Watch, watch what happens when he blitzes. And I think you could also put Lofton in a purple, so let's see if we can. See when he blitzes, it's immediate. 
um, versus when he's in the hook zone, it's not. That's just some. That's just a subtle thing. Uh, but again, if you want to stop the run, you want to blitz him. If you want to stop the, if you want to be a little bit more balanced and still have a decent run defense, but also play the pass a little bit, then you could do something like this with the Sam Fire Three. The flat zone's still going to swing out there, and you still have that outside contain. The main thing that the flat zone does, guys, is it's going to allow uh, the defense opportunity to to get a block shed. So it's going to swing out, contain the edge long enough so that we can get that block shed. Another thing that you could potentially do is re-blitz the linebacker before you spread. So we re-blitz him here, you see a straight angle, and when we spread him, you see he's going to stay on that straight blitz angle. It's going to have a little bit out better outside leverage. Still drop that flat, still everything's the same, but now you see it makes him go even wider and gives us even more time to get in the backfield. But another thing that it does is it opens up a little bit more of a running lane to the outside. So that's just personal uh, different things you can do there but um, a lot of a lot of stuff in this video guys kind of led me to get to my point another thing you can do is just shift your linebackers to the right and drop them in the flat zone it's a really good way to play run defense in my opinion uh, that's basically just the four three under what you what you just saw uh, that's the under Sam shark basically is it, it kind of is what the under Sam shark does but um, this is just a really good defense for the buck sweep so uh, but anyways, guys, take those, you can take those two plays, and then you can also take this play right here that I'm about to show you uh, with the 4-3 odd. With 4-3 odd, and the play is the Mike Sam Crash or the Under Sam Shark. And what we want to do here is we're going to base a line. We're going to take this guy here aloft, and we're going to put him into a flat zone, pass commit, and this should stop it. So that's only one adjustment. And you see how that blitz angle gets out there and those those flat zones and drops and things like that. Um, another thing that I've thought about doing is something like this where we drop the safety in a hook zone, baseline, press coverage. Let's see here. Let's see if that works. See, it's not quite the same as the purple zone or the curl fly zone. It's not the same yellow zone as the Samfire 3, so it's not as good. Um, so that, I'm just kind of running you through some gauntlets here, some different things that you can do to stop the run. Um, you don't have to do all these plays. Um, I think the Samfire 3 would work just fine. But I, I really do like that flat zone of the middle linebacker. And I that was the main point of the video. Um, so anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that. But uh, if you have any questions, um, let me know because I, I kind of rambled on a little bit and got into my own realm. Uh, if you like that, let me know, and I'll do more of that. But I try to stay on topic. But uh, anyway, um, if you have any questions you need to meet to further clear it up, uh, please let me know so that I can further clear it up. All right. Thanks for your time, guys. Apologize for my rambling. Uh, and let me know. Engage with me in the comments what you think of this video. Thanks a lot, guys.